This is the normal view of the Romping Broncos repair channel. We have to pump it out here for a bit so we can do this video, which is a scoopic update. Yay! My favorite camera of all time. This is the most ergonomic, beautiful thing ever. I got two comments yesterday, actually, on my old scoopic video. Uh, one person wanted to hear what all the different motor sounded like or the different shutter speeds sounded like and another person wanted to know how they could clean lens elements. I took this off for some reason. I don't know really what I, I'm just going to put it back on. I don't know what my thought process was there. It was a really good idea. I, I know that much. So if we look in, we'll start with the lens. Two rings here. I don't know the exact element layout. If I can find, I think I've got the repair manual on my computer. If I can find that, I will put a JPEG of it here. And that's that's pretty much the what you're looking at in terms of getting in there and stuff. I'll let you in on a little, little secret that I have. Um, a little bit of dust never really hurt anybody. Like obviously it's not the most visually appealing thing and you know, if you can get your camera lens to be clean completely, uh, that would be awesome. But I wanna show you a little little something something. Now I've not talked about this yet because I don't have a good video idea for it just yet. I'm coming up with one, but I will, I'll just share this with you now. This is my Zenza Bronica. Can I get more big cameras? Here, do you think I got way too much going on? Great camera, I love it so much. This is the lens that I shoot with it, and um, it is just, an, it is more Petri dish than lens. I don't know if we can actually see in there. I'm trying to make sure that get a good, well, let me punch in here. Uh, yeah, there is a, a lot of mold in this lens, and honestly, like the pictures I've taken, I'll, I'll put here. Uh, some of the best photos I think I've ever taken, which is a very low, that's a low mark, you know? But still, I love that camera. And its lens is gross. It's very disgusting. So, I wouldn't sweat it too much, depending on like how bad it is. Obviously, different strokes for different folks. Um, but I would just say with something like this, if you don't have experience and you don't want to spend the like hundred plus dollars that it will cost to get it fixed, maybe it's okay. I don't know. Uh, that being said, if it was me personally, I would probably still try to take it apart, but I'm kind of a moron. So, um, but I, I think it's these two things to access the front element. I'd imagine that there's another spacer element behind that, which is more of like a coupling thing. And if stuff gets in between that, it's probably not worth it to try to pop it out and then try to re-glue it back together. But again, if I can find the JPEG of it, I will put it up here. And then we will go through the different speeds, starting with 16. As you can see, there's a wide variety of speeds. 16, the standard 24, 32, 48, and 64, which is high speed. So if you shoot 64, and then uh, pair that down to 24, that's like slow-mo footage, which I will put an example of right here. Gorgeous. So here we go, this is 16, slow, 24, a little faster, 32, okay. 48, and finally 64. It's very loud. They do have sound dampening materials that you could put over top if that's kind of your thing. Uh, it doesn't bother me too much, but you know, teach their own. Uh, but that's it, that is the Scoopic update. I have things in mind with this camera. I have many ideas, many plot points and ideas and whatnot, but this thing is an absolute beauty. It is my just favorite thing probably that I own. It's just a gorgeous camera. I really do love it. And uh, that's all. I'm just, I just wanted to talk about it and answer those two comments. So if you have any specific questions, one second, let me set it down so it doesn't fall and break. 
after I, oh Jesus, that hurt. Just got done singing its praises and then I'm gonna break it. Anyway, if you have any questions that are just, just on the tip of your tongue, uh, please comment them down below. I'll try to get back to you in a reasonable fashion. i just cut my finger a little bit. Appreciate you watching ever so much. Thank you, and uh, if you have any further questions, let me know. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Catch you on the next one.